My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission, never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice, because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now, I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking questions, potentially clear, turn on Monarch. Alternatively, I could mount a broad Mr. PR Serene? strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the... The loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind, the men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. <laughs> I want this delivered to my office. What is it? A reminder. I suggest we deal with the issue at hand. Liam Burke over there can explain the situation in more detail. Of course. It was the first time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages. The location I'd arrived in when I went 17 years back in time. The location where my fate was sealed six years ago. We had Jack in custody, but I was starting to witness visions from the future which made it clear that could change very soon. How long until the core is ready for transport? It'll be en route to Monarch headquarters in less than an hour. Installation should be complete before the gala. Good. Sir. Who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Initialize a PR campaign. I want to stay. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody sneak around down there. Hey! I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait! Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses, it would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. 
This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk, keep eyes on them, and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Jack! There's no other way out. We're going through the machine. Oh, wait, no! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Time's up. The one in the middle. I assume that's your mother. On the left, of course, your father. And on the right, the little one. How old is she? One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? That was taken not five minutes ago by my associate, Michael. What do you want? I want a statement. And you don't want Michael outside of your house a moment longer. What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. Okay, I'll do it. I'm so glad we could work this out. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important. You just need to find him. 
Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. The thing about our friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> wow, God, this guy's swinging for the fences. And what is that? What are you doing, Bear? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. You tell me what's next, Brenner? I don't know. I know you don't know. That makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girl's video to Stan and our friends at WZWY, send Stan a note with some of his private pics, and last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. You can say it. It's pretty awesome. It's. <laughs> Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be uh, he'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcut. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I I got a lock on his transpo. I'm mean, I packed into his camera. And I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not it's not it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it, and when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor. Hello? Hello, I mean, I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. Things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> With these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. <laughs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days.
Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is. I'm she's being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think that's the baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You would. <laughs> Close your eyes. Yeah. Berg, you got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transpo to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside Ground Zero Perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. this great city, transforming it into an economic powerhouse over the past... research and design. And with Monarch's greatest investment in the future being right here in Riverport, it's pretty clear how bright the future is for all of us. Paul, oh, there's been a development. Jack, you've already seen it. Tonight on the island, he'll be there and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided here. Your fifth calm traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. We take you now to Riverport University, where a violent showdown shook the town last night. Joining us now is Amy Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. I want people to know that he is a very dangerous person, a terrorist. You baking and egg sandwiches? Sounds oh, like a terrifying thanks. thing down there. We really appreciate your bravery going on record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. I was over in the lab at the university this morning. Someone saw the equation. Huh? 
I've just received word that Monarch security forces have teamed up with local police to hopefully expedite the search for Jack Joyce and keep the people of Riverport safe as this very unsettling story continues to unfold. What's up, IT? You wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance? Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so... You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what's the what's the four one one? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> the four one one. Yeah, the four one one. Everything's everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're going to cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. You gonna go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. Uh, we can roll together if you want. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. What are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go naked. Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk, so. See you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Yep. Buddy. Buddy. And this isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. Step away! Right now! Drop the gun. I can't do that. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. No. No! He's gone. Do you see what's happening? The stutters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what, the of end time, of what? Of time, of time, of life as we know it, the entire universe, gone. And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Put your hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Oh. Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding to I did not give call. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! If they take me in, then it's the end for me. And for you. Now! Um, just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find the lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Leo! Shut up! This lifeboat protocol, what is it? I don't know, but Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in? Hmm. 
Come on, guys. Twenty nine down. Forty more to go. And Thanks, Fiona. It's disgusting. Oh. Holy shit. Lambert. Golden boy. Favor. Yeah. Okay, um, could we talk somewhere private? Uh, it's really rather not. But in your office would be good. It'll be really quick. Yeah. So what happened with Joyce? Oh, there was nothing there. Huh? There's nothing there? He, like he just wasn't there? Like, or what? No, Hatch. He um, he reassigned me. He wants me to secure the perimeter lab on the island. He thinks Joyce might go there. He sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Let me uh, let me see what I can do. Thank you. You know, it's really funny that you say that uh, that lead on Joyce was no good because I don't know. Uh, it sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch, and that guy clearly. <laughs> Clearly, does not work for Monarch. Now, I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me! Because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm going to do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's going to do to you. In about 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Good luck, buddy. Nine, eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Listen up, he's on level B near the main overpass. Just a reminder to Monarch employees, get your flu shot. We are free of charge. Get them in HR. Structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. Second floor. <laughs> 
He's heading south on Eastman, south on Eastman. Phantom team, he's headed to you. He's flying, look out. Copy. Cut him off, cut, go. Come on, you got this. Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well, uh... Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away, right now. You've three seconds till I pull. Have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. <laughs> We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. I'm still waiting to wake up.
Why am I here? Only way forward. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became... unstable. With my new abilities, I could manipulate their timelines, rewind them. Very well. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. That chart was the first sign. Monarch had built an entire PR campaign to protect their reputation. Ferrero's confession goes live in a matter of minutes. What about Jack Joyce? Once that confession hits the air, the whole city will be looking for him. He'll have nowhere to turn. He'll come to me tonight. At the gala? You're sure? Positive. like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Filming confession videos. We blew the library to create misdirection. The media's gonna latch to that, and Amy's gonna tell him the pro- Enemy spotted! Enemy spotted! Enemy
Warning from the university! Thank God. That's for Will. This elevator looks like the only way out of here. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. No. There we go. What the hell is that? Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Cronin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks. If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm... No! Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find him. We both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. All right. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized a place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. just went out, but Hatch wants a follow-up confession. You got the script? Yeah, this one's more reflective. Like, wish we could undo what we've done sort of deal. Dave will feed you the line. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You're never letting me go. Please, 
From the protest, what do you... I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. It's locked. Ah, okay, there must be a gate control around somewhere. Yeah, I'll check. Monarch's twisting the story for the media, claiming the protest went hostile and that we detonated the library. They're blaming you, Jack. <sighs> hey, it worked. It's not holding long. I don't think you're fast enough. Oh my god. You're just... You're just like them. Like who? I saw them on the way in. These geared up soldiers that blink in and out. Okay. Oh, well, something to look forward to. You know, I thought I was losing my mind when I saw that. You're part of this. I need to know what's going on. You really want to open that can of worms? You just defied physics. I'm entitled to all the worms. All right, my brother tried to explain. Time is an egg, which is now fucked. Time, which is, it's fucked. It's like broken, I, I don't know. Time is ending, Monarch has something to do with it. Get me to the dry docks and I'll find out why. Yeah, that should work. Wait here. So everyone thinks that Monarch is run by this smarmy asshole named Martin Hatch, but everyone here answers to a guy named Paul Serene. And apparently he founded Monarch in 1999. Now, here's the thing. Paul Serene is the exact name of a guy who was heading some top secret physics project at my university. So it's gotta be the same guy, right? Hey, there we go. Now, I heard that Monarch was there to steal the project from the university, but why steal something from yourself? Also, I saw that guy Paul Serene on campus once and he looked like 30 years old. So if you started Monarch in 1999, that would make him 14. So unless he's a Dookie Hauser for corporate America, that's impossible. Anna, fucking pancakes. So Paul founded Monarch. Need to get up to that open window.
Is that another one of those rewind things? Starting to get the hang of this. All right, that's that. Made it. Now to get to that door. terminal up here and try and dig up what Monarch's really up to. Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on? I'm going to keep looking for him. I'm just giving you a heads up, okay? Who took things too far. Shit. Things got very violent. I'm so sorry, Jack. They forced me to do it. I know. of Jack Joyce. There's nothing you could have done. Like a terrifying scene down there. We really that appreciate map over there should help you figure out a record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. Ground Zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah, I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. Okay, stay in contact. Find a radio, I'll be on channel three. And be careful. Yeah, you too. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, I heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Still kicking. Monarch radio is lighting up. I heard a noise and know you're coming. Be careful out there. Thanks for the heads up. go.
hostile. Oh, great. Shotgunner advancing on hostile. Mother. You want to talk this out? you. idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. Jack, 
The husky lady on Monarch Radio seems to be unable to reach Gatehouse Squad. Remember the geared up soldiers I mentioned who do the teleporting stuff you do? Yeah. Apparently they're intending to say hi back with a grudge. So there's that. <sighs> Regarding some kind of chronon particle squad. harvesting operation, I'm not sure what that means, but I'm looking into it. Keep you posted. Hey, let's turn off security. Uh-oh. Jack, they're coming your way. Sitting. 